All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our call with Z Zachy Wheatley. As always, please raise your hand and I will unmute you. We'll start with Joe, Smel Joe Smelcher. Hey, Zachy, uh, thanks for the time today. So in the past few days, just how have things been uh, just kind of getting over the Ohio State loss, learning uh, what you need to learn, correcting what you need to correct, and then just getting ready for uh, Indiana? Oh, I'll say uh, between Ohio State and giving over that, just between Saturday afternoon and then Sunday, coming in Sunday, watching film, watching the corrections, going over everything, we went, uh, you know what I'm saying, that needs to be corrected, watching over the game, seeing what we did good and what we did bad, just, uh, you know what I'm saying, leaving it to, for that, and then once we hit yesterday off day, uh, you know, going and watching film and starting on the next week and continue to go one and zero. John McConnell, Zachy, when you guys look at the disruption you've caused in the secondary, a lot of pass breakups. How much of an emphasis, uh, you know, from, how much how much of an emphasis from your coaches is on turning those uh, pass breakups into interceptions? It seemed like you guys had a a couple of near opportunities there over the weekend. Um, I'll say a lot, you know, Coach Manny, Coach Diaz, I say Coach Diaz, Coach Dex, Coach uh, Coach Smith, a whole deep in the corner, Coach Frank, we all uh, emphasize causing havoc, uh, creating turnovers and getting the ball in our hands. So we're on the field. That's just something that's like in our, in our mind naturally when we're playing. Tyler Donahue. Hey, good morning. Thank you for your time. I'm curious how you've seen this defense maybe evolve, change a bit with that dual Carter in the starting lineup the last couple of games. I mean, Abdul's an uh, electric player. He brings energy to defense. So whenever you have a player like down the field, uh, regardless of the snaps, uh, it's always beneficial. And definitely, uh, I love playing with Abdul. You come in a player like that. Before. You just know he's going to make plays and go all out. Tony Collins. Zeki, do you take more out of the first 50 minutes of that game when you guys were playing extremely well or out of the last 10 when things didn't go your way, when you go back and watch it on film? Uh, it's one of those things where you got to watch the film, watch all four quarters. Uh, but definitely, you know, the first three quarters was definitely uh, better football playing being played and then you gotta also watch the last ten minutes to see what got, what needs to be corrected so it doesn't this doesn't ever happen again. Uh, because of course, obviously, you know, what I'm saying college football is a competitive sport, so every week you got to come with the right mindset. So just know every four, you got to play four quarters every time. Like it doesn't matter what's going on with the scores. Just play four quarters, give it a full uh, sixty two hours, and just get everything you got. Back to Tyler. What's going to be the most important thing for this team as you guys get back onto the practice field and try to move on from, from the last game and move forward to the next one? Uh, just worrying about the, uh, the day that's at hand. Uh, Tuesday practice, we're, we're, you know what I'm saying, focus on the next game, going one to know. That's all, that's all it really is, too, just uh, moving on, uh, staying hungry, and just keep working and driving to go one to know every week. Donnie? Zeki, what did you see from uh, Indiana's defense? How much have you been able – excuse me, Indiana's offense. What have you been able to see from them uh, that they do that's that's different? Uh, I'm not going to get really much into the film and, like, exactly, like, the personality that I'm seeing. But uh, DBs, we went there yesterday and watched the film and just watched, uh, you know, the play concepts, watched the uh, little signs, the splits, and just seeing what we can work on. Today, going into practice, really, like, diving in deep and seeing what they're doing. Miguel. Hey, hi, Saki. Holding Ohio State to only 16 points through three quarters, how would you evaluate your performance as defense in the game? And what is it that Ohio State did in the fourth quarter to suddenly become so effective? Um, I would say nothing really changed dramatically in the fourth quarter that caused any of that to happen. It just, it's football, you know, great, two great teams and things, uh, and saying, things happen. But, uh, I'll say, what was your first question again? The first one? Yes. Uh, how do you ever let your performance as a defense in the three first, first quarters? Uh, I'll say we are playing aggressive, we are playing fast, we are playing, uh, we are playing really good, you feel me? Uh, and then we, had, we still had the same mindset and 
So, you know what I'm saying? This, this football happened and thing, things happen. Tyler? Yeah, um, Zaki, I'm not sure if you had, had seen this already, but uh, Indiana's leading receiver, Cam Camper, has been ruled out for the season with a torn ACL. He had almost 50 catches on the season so far. Um, you remove someone like that from the ad equation. What does it do when you're preparing for a team? So much of the film is going to involve him being that number one target. Uh, definitely. Just seeing uh, what he did and what the, the – of course, the backup's going on. They have the same plays. They're not going to – you know, change play because someone's hurt. So just watching what he did, uh, his tendencies and him and all the other receivers and just kind of like looking at the concepts and not really worrying about one guy, but just taking everyone serious, going out there uh, and no matter who you guard, just all of them and then going from there. Joe? Hey, Zach. Hey, so we're entering – this is the first day in November, so obviously the last month for the regular season – a lot has changed for you um, in the last year in regards to your role on the team, as well as I'm sure a lot of other areas. So what would you say the biggest change is for you just either as a football player or as a person compared to where you were November 1st of last year? Uh, I say I've grown tremendously mentally, physically, my game of football is the knowledge, uh, everything, everything, honestly. That just comes from the off season and just preparing well and just taking it serious and knowing that, you know what I'm saying, like this game doesn't go on forever. So every time you go on the field, you just got to make something happen. And I just had that mindset the whole time. And then every year I just continue to progress and get better. Andrew Justin. Hey, Zaki, thanks for doing this. Uh, got to ask you about your hoodie. Um, I'm seeing it right now. and uh, Yeah, I, I hear the chuckle there. Um, what's the background on that? How did you, how did you get that? And uh, could you talk a little bit more about the celebration itself? I know some other players have, but how'd that kind of start up from your perspective? Thanks. Uh, it started before this season, you know, with uh, my man Day Day, 25, and he kind of just grew. We just kept that mindset, just kept on, you know what I'm saying, believing, just knowing that we were the best DBs in the country. And just uh, every time you step on the field, just having a little bit of swag with us. And then you came about the hoodies, you know, y'all know what it is. And locked down you. Any other questions? Tyler? Yeah, you've got uh, another month here and, and maybe some work after that with Jair Brown. But I'm curious, are, are you finding your way as a leader or other guys finding their way as a leader in that safety room? Because Jair, we've heard so much about his abilities, but he'll be leaving the program in a matter of four or five games now. Uh, definitely. Right now, we just all uh, listen to his leadership and learning learning off of his leadership uh, to help us, of course, next year and in the future. But for right now, uh, I'll say I'm just really been going day by day and just enjoying the time I got with him, you know what I'm saying, before he leaves and go off and do whatever he does. But just, uh, you know what I'm saying, appreciate his leadership and then learning so that next year, when that time comes, then we can handle that.